Did you know that Tanzania has trained rats with passport and everything that travel around and work? Here they are. What am I doing wrong? Okay, she's escaping. <laughs> What's happening? What's happening? Dora is going away somewhere. Our co-founder, his name is Rat Vision. He also a Belgian people. He is a person that found this rat have good nose. And basically, he has this rat live together like a pet, like a dog, like a cat, something like that. During that time, he has wondering with that rat. That you know, normally normal rat they always sleep at night time, but this rat sleep at daytime. He don't understand why this rat sleep at daytime and how they can find food at night time. Because night time is dark, they cannot see. How they can find food? So they have to smell. And then he tried to research with this rat more and more, and then he succeeded. They can train this rat to detect landmines. After that, he built this organization in 1997, and then he moved to Tanzania. It is our headquarters where they can train a rat and breed more rat. In Cambodia, we have male and female rat, but all of these rats, they cannot have baby because these rats, when they are finished trained from Tanzania, they've been castrated. So if Cambodia need rat more, we just let Tanzania know, and then Tanzania, they will be start breed train until the rat can find landmine and then send them here. In Cambodia, there are about 6 million landmines. Landmines were created because of Vietnam War, and the civil war that was happening here in Cambodia for a very long time. So the rat that we train them to detect landmine, we bring it here, and that rat is not easy to control. It's not just bring them here, and then we let them go to the minefield, and then they're sniffing around everywhere, and they let us know by scratching, no. Because the rat, they are not like dog. But you know, dog also the best animal that they can find mine underground. But dog, they have communicate with handler. I mean, dog, they can understand each other with uh, the handler, but the rat, they don't, they don't care who you are. Yeah. Everybody can do six rats. So we have to control them by, all the time by using the system like this. Create or create boxes. If we don't do like that, we cannot control them. If we don't do like that, the rat, they will be missing some part. Because the rat, they don't understand blah, blah, anything. So we have to control them all the time by pull them back and forth, back and forth by the system like this. I will be explaining you a little bit more here to make you clarify. But sometimes if you are not, you will be seeing the rat do demonstration. How does it work with the rat in the minefield? This minefield have location in Syria around 80 kilometers from here to there. First, our team, they have to use manual metal detector to clear all of the line here. You see all of the line here? That we call safe lane. We have to clear this road for the people walk. After they got this safe lane, they have to creep. And then they got boxes like this. One wrap, we need two people to control. So two people, they have to stand on both sides on the safe lane. And then they have rope one to other guy. And then they have tied the rope with the wrap harness. And then they pull them back and forth like this. <laughs> These rats, they are good nose that they can get the smell of explosive one meter away from them and one meter deep underground that the rat can smell. Even we know this rat, they can detect one meter away from them. But our team, when we use rat in the minefield, they have to move only 50 centimeters distance. It means that one spot, the rat, they can detect two times. So that's why that this one, they never have mistake. We have experience use this rat from 10 years in 2000. From that time until now, we can say more than 20 years already that we have used this rat. And the rat, they never got any mistake and left landmine around. So after the rat cleared, we give the land back to the people. The people, they never call us back to pick other landmine after the rat cleared. No, never have this rat. Never. We trust with the rat, 100%. So when we use rat in the minefield, it means 100% clear. That's why that we can use this rat from that time until now. Some of the rats are like heroes, they're treated as heroes because they are saving lots of lives. And with all of the work that they're doing, they treat them like royalty, you know, like the food, they have medical, they have, uh, you know, they get pampered, they're, they're getting sunscreen, everything before they leave. And um, yeah, they treat it like royalty. And even the people who work with them, um, who are the men who train them, say they are like their family because they save lots of life and they spend so much time with them that they treat them uh, like family. Um, I'm a rat lady now. <laughs> What is happening? 
Come on, Dora. Where are you You're going? Jump, are you? Yeah. <laughs> it's a looking... Yeah, good job. Do I taste good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think she, she likes it. Oh, okay, you came back. There we go. Nope. These yellow boxes are cleared by rat and the system like this are cleared by the manual metal detector because around this area have obstacles that we cannot use the rat, especially water. The rat cannot smell. So we have to use manual metal detector to replace. And some of this farming area, also we cannot use the rat there because they have a lot of food for the rat, especially tomato, tomato, cassava, especially that the rat, they will be smelling that and then they will be eating there. With the rat, I told you, when the rat they found something for landmine, they will be, it was the reaction scratch. But then that time, they are not scratched for landmine, but they scratch for food. They are made us a mess. You, you don't really, difficult for us to recognize so which reaction for landmine and which reaction for food. So we don't want to make a problem with the rat. Not rat problem. Because they, they found something to eat, so they have to eat. That's why we don't want to make a problem to mark a lot of spot, just only food to make us problem to, to, to copy this, so we don't. We just use manual metal detector, it's enough, it's enough. Her from that pole until here, and then they just met her how long two meters. And from the line to where the rat scratch by comparing with our people that they pull her up, they also have a 10 meter. And then they just take note two by 1.5 meter, and then they mark. After that, we have other expert guy that we call CMAC team Cambodian Mine Action Center. They will be check the number that our team they record, and then they go inside to remove. Sometimes they cannot remove, they have to detonate it, that landmine on site. So landmine is not one type, they have a different type of landmine. We have anti-personal landmine, we have anti-tank mine, or unexploded ordnance. So different type of landmine. If our team, they saw that landmine they cannot remove, they have to detonate it. How they detonated the landmine? They have other explosive and then they close to the landmine and then they have a cable two or three hundred meters away and then they do button over there. That mine will blow up. Depend on if they found anti-tank is it's a big amount of explosive, they have to stay far away, maybe up to 500 meters away from the spot to where that they do the bottom. So, depend on. You have any question here? If they're very friendly, you can hold them. They never bite people. So, trust the rat, they don't bite people. Okay, so, in this time, I will explain you a little bit for holding a rat without the rat escape from your hand. Same thing like baby, but not like this. But you have to do your hand like this side by side you have to you try to make a big space like this and keep it close your body and then our handler will put a rat on your hand don't move your hand and then the rat is still longer okay these rats are so taken care of and so uh, mimed how do you say mimados uh, they are but they are nocturnal animals so they even put sunscreen and everything uh, on their ears so they don't get burned and they start the work early in the morning while it's still dark so they uh, they are more active and they can get more sleep because these animals they sleep during the day and they're more active in the evening okay. <laughs> hello dora <laughs> They have about two years only doing trainings and being pampered and then they graduate and after they graduate they take them into work. 
the rat lives up to eight years so they will let them work uh, from six until six and a half or seven years and then they retire just like everybody else amazing but that rat they are amazing to the smell that we can train them to detect tb and in africa most of their work with these rats is not to detect explosive but to detect diseases like tb you know tb right tuberculosis how they can detect tb the rat they will be detect your cute top that you, when you cough it you take that and bring to the rat sniffing after that the, the rat they will be show us you have tb or not how does it work we have a mirror box like this and on our tongue we have a hole 10 hole example and then we just take a sample of the tongue and then we put on the button of the hole after that we put the rat inside the box the rat they will be sniffing all of that hole so which hole that have tb the rat will stop there and then they will be give us a reaction a little bit scratch when we saw the rat scratch in that hole it means that people have sick but it are the hole that the rat do not think it means they sick the rat that we train them to detect tb we are not applied up here but it not mean Cambodia have no tb we have but it's small problem our government can control for this we train this rat for the tech TV, apply in Africa. That you know already, in Africa, have a lot of people that they have their disease, kill and injure every year. That the people they get disease, they always spread out. So we train a rat, and we would like uh, those people, they know themselves, and then they can do precaution. Stay far away from other people if they have TV, and they have to wear the mask, and they have to clean all the time. When they have coughing, when they they try something they have to clean to make sure they are not spread that this is more than 51,000 people have been injured because of the landmines at this moment they have three locations where they're working in Cambodia uh, and they have about 61 rats because they don't have all the funds and all the money so but in the future like the more money they have and the more funds that they have they want to expand and take it uh, to uh, a bigger length and this way they can help more people uh, this company base is in Tanzania and it was started by a Belgian man and then uh, now they are here and these rats travel across the world uh, doing this amazing work and saving lots of people's lives so if you want to sponsor a rat you can do it here uh, by sending money to them every month and or like once a year or you can also support by buying stuff these are jewelries that are made with the bullets. They even get the rats ring and t-shirts and bottles and little rats. Give also donations here. <laughs> or uh, by coming here and paying the entrance fee is also the way they are making extra cash so they have money to continue their work that they are doing. The entrance for the Apopo is uh, $8. Uh, the government expects them to have Cambodia um, free of all of this uh, mine, but they only have 61 rats and not a lot of enough staff. So they need a lot of help to be able to finish the work that they're doing. If you can help, I will leave their uh, link and description and in the description below so you can go and help them out. So as you can see here, this is the map of uh, where they um, where they work in Cambodia. So they have here and here and here um, is where they have like here they have two bases and they work here and um, yeah, they want to expand and work in lots of places. This is that the work that they did, if you see for a square meter calendar. And here they have the, um, the chart of Apo Cambodia progress. In 2022, they covered all this uh, land and they also have the top hero rats uh, who, are, who covered like a biggest land mine and they did a really good job. Or the person who started it is a Belgian and then started it in Tanzania in 2000. Went to Mozambique, cleared out stuff there, came to Laos, did a good job. Thailand, 2011, Angola, 2013, Vietnam, 2014, and now they are here in Cambodia uh, 20, since 2015, and they are doing a really good job. They still have in Zimbabwe, and they still have in Colombia as well. And they will continue, they will keep uh, their work uh, everywhere in the world.
Majority of farmland in Cambodia is full of um, mines and explosives. So it's really good with the, the job that they're doing here. It's very important because it liberates those land for the people to farm and also not have those type of accidents and people being killed or injured while they're farming in their rice fields or whatever, or their animals uh, dying because of the explosives just go on a kaboom, you know? I hope you enjoyed this video, learned something new today, like, share, comment and subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye!